Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new SBC Danny Almo to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is 5 foot 10, high medium work rates, right footed, 5 star skills with a 4 star weak foot. Maybe they don't uh, release a nice little cheeky flashback quidditch but for your boy, but it's okay. It's okay. Player traits, outside foot shot trait, flare traits. The five star skill that they actually gave this card, guys, is in fact an upgrade for him, right? If you take a look at his uh, rare gold card here, he's at a four star, four star. So the fact that he is a five star skill move now is definitely a very nice thing to work with. Uh, in game attributes for base card stats, he's at a 99 for acceleration, which is going to hopefully work really well with his base dribbling stats also being really high for a player that also has the lean body type, right? So very important there. Base card stats for shooting set up really nicely for this card at a high medium work rate, working with the 93 attacking positioning with 91 shot power, 88 long shots at 87 finishing, 96 to 97, yeah, not bad. His shooting's actually good. The volley's at 88 is fine too with a four star weak foot and he even has a 94 composure, which is awesome. Base card stats are passing his setup really nice in the card. Reactions, we will see how that performs in game because it's always gonna be different for every single player. Uh, defensive stats. He has a few, to be honest. Some of the attackers, they just have like 40s and 50s. So they're just like, they just do nothing for you, right? But this card actually has like 70 interceptions, which is from time to time actually helpful in the cam position. Uh, and then for physical, he's at a 94 for stamina. So I like that EA does this nowadays. They do the stamina right, okay, with these cards and they improve them. Um, he also has 74 for strength. We're going to be boosting that to an 84 with 85 for jumping, considering he is a 5'10 player. Now there's two different chemistry styles or three different chemistry styles that make sense for a card like this if i feel like his dribbling is super saucy with the marksman and i can feel like i could take it out potentially then i would give him the hunter chemistry style because the hunter would actually boost his shooting by a plus 10 for finishing and a plus 5 for shot power while giving him the sprint speed boost but if his attacking ai works a certain way uh then i might just give him the hawk because of the shooting boost that you give him 92 finishing is a good cutoff as long as you improve the shot power long shots as much as possible physical with the pace acceleration is already high as it is good stuff to work with but i do give chemistry style to test out the card in certain situations so in this team we actually have some cool stuff to work with uh we will be using the 442 bracket 2 uh this is from my boy snip again we will be making a video on this on this uh tactic in the future uh, we're going to go ahead and put Danny Olmo. I want to use Royce up top so bad because I love his attacking AI. But we'll use Huang He Chan up top with Danny Olmo to see what they're like both together. And we will move from there. I do see Danny mostly being used as a cam. I do see it right now. But he could actually surprise me in that striker position. So, uh, yeah, let's try him out and see how he plays in game. Okay, we are... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey, man. I like the team. I'm pretty sure a lot of those... I'm pretty sure all of them are first owner, actually. A lot of SPC cards in there. First owner foot champs cards. Courtois. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he even packed that name more than Mbappe, so... I don't mind it. When it's a first owner team, it's like a little bit different for me, right? So... All right. This Danny Olmo card does look like a lot of fun. So I am excited to try him out. I do like that his acceleration by... Base stats is at a 99, so let's see how this bad boy plays in game. Oh, manual goalkeeping there, eh? Manual goalkeeping. Kind of sucks how he does it there, and I still can't get that near post angle, but I don't really blame Danny there. It is like a close angle, but. When the person moves their goalkeeper, honestly, my shot accuracy should be like at 100. See the, the five star skills, man. Five star skills, really, really big thing to have nowadays, guys. To be fair, oh, I'm gonna get the deflection right here, yeah. Uh, to be fair, I like his attacking AI so far. He's making those really good angled runs where I can work off of that with my strikers. So I do like those angled runs because when you make the pass, if the person you're making the pass with also has a good good attacking AI, they utilize that empty space on the other side immediately, which is uh, a really cool thing that I like to work with in this game. It's usually like that for the 4-2-3-1 narrow as well, where you work uh, with the cam for that attacking AI too.
Danny Olmo with it. In position. Surely. Oh, man. Man, man, man. The angle is close, so I have to do like an extra ball roll there just to make sure that he actually kind of like faces the net. But really silky right there, man. Really, really silky. And I hit the post. No way. Come on, man. Oh, I had to I had to try to get the double there. No. I could have had it. Oh. I mean, was that a chip shot? It was a chip shot. <laughs> it was a chip shot. I think I pressed that one by accident actually. Oh, that whole play was sick, though, man. I shouldn't make those, like, forced runs right there. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am enjoying the card a lot. Like, obviously, I'm not scoring some of these opportunities, but I don't really blame him for it. It's kind of like the percentage of the strikes that I'm taking, they're not, like, super high percentage. And some of them are just, like, really good saves by the goalkeeper, like, putting out a hand and stuff, so... See, he kind of just, like, he just adjusts to my... Uh, my dribble there, which is uh, very important to me. You guys know I always, always mention that kind of stuff. In search of space. There you go. Look at that. There you go. Yeah, I think this card is really cool, man. I, I like him a lot with a marksman. Like, I couldn't care less about giving him a sprint speed boost, to be honest with you. I think... The 99 acceleration on the card is actually the most important thing. Because you guys know how it is for me. Like, I mostly rely on your attacking AI being good. Your dribbling on the ball being awesome with your 5-star skill moves. This Amiri card is still really dope to use as well. So it's a combination of a lot of different things that makes me kind of enjoy the card. I might be able to score this maybe too. All over the bar. Put too much header, too much uh, power on the header right there. Um, he definitely feels like someone that mostly belongs in that cam position. For sure. But look at that adjustment, man. Oof. Immediately, there you go, bang bang, yeah, let's fake him out a little bit. Oh man, I, I did get the Croquetta off there, but it just didn't work. Oh, I'm just testing out his dribbling, man. Just gotta test out that dribbling, see what's up with it. I love it, it's really saucy to be honest with you guys. It's really, really fun to work with. It just makes sense, man, his skill moves come off quick. It works really well with his body type. His left stick dribbling is awesome with it too, so no complaints from me there, dude. This game is weird sometimes, man. This game is weird, dude. I don't deserve that goal, but... You make the most out of what this game gives you sometimes, guys. Danny Olmo. Waman Gituka. I came off really nicely, to be fair. Let's see if we can actually work some space here. There we go. This guy's going to make that run here. Nice little disguise. Danny Olmo starts that run immediately. Yeah, I like dribbling with him, guys. The skill moves come off great. Very, very silky. Marksman definitely, definitely uh, helps out a lot for sure. It's the base card stats for acceleration that's noticeable too. I like that a lot about the card too. Oh, I could have just shot that. Listen, I could have just shot that. But I just wanted to go for the cheek and just get a nice little chip shot off there. I thought he was going to pull his goalkeeper immediately. Oh, a lovely ball. Can he finish? 
Oh, I almost got it there. Oh, I almost got it. That would have been so sick. Okay, guys, so just to see which one I prefer the most, like I said, I do think that his dribbling, like, I don't think it'll be bad um, if you actually decide to give him, like, a Hunter or a Hawk. Uh, I do think you'll notice the dribbling being off a little bit, but I want to see in-game just to make sure. Uh, this time, we are going to be using him in the 4-2-3-1 in the original position I see him being used in the most. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and switch that there, that over there, and we're going to have Danny Oma playing through the cam position. Perfect. Cool. Oh, from that angle? It's a low percentage strike, but we try it out anyways. Jude Bellingham. Danny Olmo with it. That was actually pretty cool. He started that run himself in that situation. I think for me, I'd still give him a marksman. I know people that will definitely use his card without the marksman because he will definitely want that pace in the card. But again, dribbling nowadays is mostly the uh, skill move, so it wouldn't be a bad thing for people to do that, to be fair. And then there it is. See, they would just work with that dribbling being as it is, right? But the shooting definitely was very nice for, for that shot right there. Wasn't bad at all. So yeah, it's just going to be a, a matter of choice for you, right? Like for me, I always aim to, you know, make the game as responsive as possible. So I'm going to give him a marksman regardless of his sprint speed being a little bit lower. But there's people that will definitely use this card without it for sure. There we go. We will take that goal scoring opportunity. Very nice, very nice. Oh, I still scored that. What? I still scored that with him. No shot. I was like, yeah, once I take this shot, it's going to be blocked. That was a great finish. Oh, yes. They wanted to test out that last second touch there against the goalkeeper. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. Eh, why not? Go for the near post strike. You see how he does that, like, bending, uh, bending his body animation? That's kind of sick. Okay guys, so final verdict on the Danny Olmo card. So I do think that this SBC is worth getting for a price of around 200k, especially with the fodder that you can trade in towards him. It's a really, really fun card to use in the meta of this gameplay because of the fact that his dribbling works well with his body type. And you know, there's definitely like some different options when it comes to the chemistry style that you actually give the card. So. I like him the most with the marksman, but you guys know how I am. I always aim for a better general experience, even if his sprint speed is lower. I don't really abide to uh, the full meta aspect of this game all the time, right? So for me, if I was using him as one of the strikers or as my cam, the 99 acceleration to work with the dribbling and the shooting being improved is really nice in my opinion because I actually like his attacking AI from a base characteristic. It actually works out really nicely and it kind of just makes a card more fun to use in the skill move area, right? Because when I have to left stick dribble right after, he's really responsive at doing it. And then obviously the shooting boost is definitely a very nice touch to the car too, regardless of the fact that the sprint speed is at an 89. But if you want to give him the Hawk chemistry style, right? You could definitely boost his physical, his shooting, and his pace as much as possible. And the dribbling will still be nice to work with the body type because of the five-star skill moves. If he didn't have the five-star skill moves, then you have to work with the dribbling a little bit more because it's kind of how this game is with the 87 reactions. But the marksman, he actually feels really nice just with the left stick by itself. It's just that, you know, when you give him the hawk or you give him the hunter or something, uh, it definitely feels like you need a little bit of a boost. But like I said, guys, the dribbling in this game nowadays is the five-star skill moves and he's doing it really really well they come off very smooth they come off smoother for me because of the left stick afterwards with the marksman but it's really going to depend on you guys um if you guys unlock the card i think you guys will definitely enjoy using him he's a pretty cool card to use in the game for sure he plays in the meta really well very fast at doing the skill moves the shooting is awesome when i give him the marksman or the hawk chemistry style that those are the two that i i personally prefer the most people are giving him a hunter marksman dead eye yeah so either give him a hawk for the shooting boost because of the 99 shot power, 92 finishing with the pace boost as well as the physical boost. That's definitely one of them. Or the other one is the marksman for the dribbling boost, shooting boost, and the physical boost while you're already working with 99 for acceleration. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.